All right, let's look again at the sizes of the matrices involved in the product. If you want to multiply A and B, um, let's say that M by K is the size of A, and then K by N is the size of B, then these middle dimension must match. Otherwise, like we saw in the last example, um, in two examples ago, if they're not the same size in the middle, then you won't be able to define the dot product. And then whatever's left here and here, that's the size you get right here. So this would be an M by N matrix. And you keep the two sizes that you haven't matched. All right, so let's say I have an M by N matrix A. I want to know when A squared, which is A times A, when would that be defined? So let's see if I have A, A. Um, the first one is M by N. Second one is M by N. So these middle dimensions need to match, and so these must match. And so that means that N and M should be equal. And so you should have um, the same number of rows and same number of columns. So you have exactly the same number of rows and number of columns. And we'll call this type of matrix a square matrix because it's no longer a rectangle. Well, it's more than a rectangle. Uh, it's same length on the height and on the width. So M equals M, we'll call it a square matrix. All right, so this question is a bit vague, but let's do it anyways. So I'm asking you to come up with a square matrix. So just needs the same number of rows and columns. Uh, let's not do a one by one, that's a bit silly. Let's do the next best thing. So a two by two, um, one, two, three, four. When I write a square, that means a, a. So that means I'm gonna multiply one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four. Um, let's label them with colors. Again, this is something you do at the start, but after one class, I'm going to stop doing that and you'll be happy that I stop. All right, so yellow times green is one plus six. Uh, yellow times blue is two plus eight. Uh, green times orange is three plus 12. And orange times blue is six plus uh, 16. So I'm getting 7, 10, 15, 22. All right, so that's the square of the matrix A. There's one special um, square matrix that we'll use a lot this term. It's called the identity matrix. So for any positive integer n, the identity matrix of size n is an n by n matrix, so it has n columns and n rows. So n rows, n columns, so n rows and n columns. And um, it's gonna have ones all along what we'll call the main diagonal. So it's gonna be have ones on um, the diagonal entries and then all above and all below I'm just going to have zeros. So everything else is a zero. The only entries that are non-zero are the entries where i and j are equal. All right, let's try a few products. I want um, an example 4.2.7. I'm going to take this matrix and multiply it. And notice that I have i3 and i2. 3 and 2 tells you the size of different size identity matrices. All right, so ai3. Let me copy down A, I3 
um, is a three by three, I'm told to put ones on the diagonal and everywhere else I should put zero. So that's what it, look, it looks like. All right, so again, for probably the last time, I'm gonna color my vectors. And you'll notice something interesting. When I do this with the identity, the vectors are quite simple. In fact, in this case, because it's a three by three, I get i, j, k, I get the three basic vectors of, um, of chapter one. All right, so I'm gonna get a two by three again. Um, let's do it a bit longer. So yellow with green, that's going to be two plus zero plus zero. Yellow blue is going to give me zero plus five plus zero. Yellow purple is going to give me zero plus zero plus one. Then four plus zero plus zero, zero plus three plus zero, and then all zeros. And so I'm getting two, five, one, four, three, zero. All right, if I was looking at a I2A, I choose a two by two. Again, you put ones on the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. And then I'm going to multiply this by two, five, one, four, three, zero. And so I will get. Um, these vectors to multiply. Uh, yellow times green is 2 plus 0, so I get 2. 5 plus 0, I get 5. 1 plus 0, I get 1. 0 plus 4, um, 0 plus 3, 0 plus 0. Hmm. Do you notice anything? Not only are these two equal, but they're actually both equal to A. So multiplying by the identity matrix didn't change anything. I get A back. In fact, that's what the next takeaway tells us. So for any matrix A, if I multiply A by IN or by IM, I get A back, as long as it's defined. That's why I have IN and IM to make sure that the products are defined. All right, so that means that when we talked about al the algebra of matrices, the I n, the identity, will play the same role as the number one in R. It is called the multiplicative identity, if you want to be precise. And just like for the zero, if the size of I n is obvious from context, we will only write I. 